morning my students today i'm going to discuss some questions in chemistry and the topic is abc of chemistry 5. the first question is a neutral atom of an element has 2k 8l and 5l electrons find out atomic number total number of s electrons total number of p electrons number of protons in the nucleus and valency of the element the answer is first atomic number that means number of protons and that is equals to number of electrons and so it is 2 plus 8 plus 5 that is equals to 15 as the question says in the first orbital 2 electrons second orbital 8 electrons and third orbital it is 5 electrons so it becomes 15 electrons and second is we have to find total number of s electrons so first k cell that is first cell has one s orbital with two electrons l or second cell has two s subcell two electrons and uh, 2p subcell with 6 electrons m or third cell has 3s subcell with 2 electrons and uh, 3p subcell with 3 electrons so there being only 5 electrons as indicated in 5m that's why 3s has 2 electrons 3p has 3 electrons so the total number of s electron is 1s2 plus 2s2 plus 3s2 that is 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is equals to 6 electrons and third is total number of p electrons is equals to 2p6 plus 3p3 that is equals to 6 plus 3 that is 9 electrons and fourth is number of protons that is equals to total number of electrons and that is 15 and fifth is valency of the element and which is equals to number of unpaired electrons in the last cell and that is 3 as 3p3 electrons of m cell will be unpaired second question is orange lead aluminium copper in the order of decreasing density so answer is pv lead has greater density copper has less than lead and aluminium has less than copper so we find that lead is one of the heavy metals and aluminium is one amongst light metals third question is arrange n2 o2 cl2 in the order of increasing boiling points so answer is n2 is less than o2 and o2 is less than cl2 so we can say that uh, as molecular weight increases so their boiling point increases that means molecular weight and boiling point both are directly proportional more the molecular weight more the boiling point less the molecular weight less the boiling point so here and two's boiling point is less than that of Cl2 and Cl2 here has the highest boiling point because of highest molecular weight here. Fourth question is arrange H2, Cl2, CH4 that means hydrogen, chlorine and methane in the increasing order of rate of diffusion. So the answer is Cl2's rate of diffusion is less than that of methane and methane's rate of diffusion is less than that of hydrogen as lighter gases diffuse 
far more rapidly. That is, less the molecular weight, more the rate of diffusion. That means, you can say that molecular weight and rate of diffusion are inversely proportional. Both are inversely proportional. That means, if molecular weight is more, less rate of diffusion is less. And if molecular weight is less, rate of diffusion is more. Both are inversely proportional. Okay. Now, fifth is, why are zero group elements, that is, novel gases, mono atomic, do they form any compounds? Answer is, they are chemically inert, so they are monoatomic. Because of high value of their ionization potentials, they have no tendency to form electrovalent or covalent compounds. They do form certain coordination compounds. Thank you. If you like, please see your hand, subscribe.